According to the 2019 World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders, Kenya is ranked 100 out of 180 countries with the poorest media freedom. To this end, the Media Council of Kenya says that this depicted on the ground with the recorded cases of harassment of journalists and in many cases their equipment destroyed while on duty. We have intimidations even from the crowds. We have a register of uh, guys who get uh, any, any threats to journalists. And it's very strange. One of the strangest things that happened here three weeks ago is that some from two students and their teacher, was it Kitale or Kisi, attacked journalists. I mean, we've always, when, when we grew up, we're used to a journalist was this very respected person, isn't it? Even when anybody, including the police, would touch a journalist, it would be really an outcry. The Media Council of Kenya CEO David Omoyo, while releasing the 2019 Status of Media in Kenya report, said that there was still very little support and goodwill from the state in protecting the scribes from such extreme cases. What well, was secondary sources have the audacity to be mobilized by their class prefects and uh, I, I think a dorm master to attack journalists who are covering an outbreak of uh, diarrhea and food poisoning in the school. That tells you how low now people are holding journalists. The media in Kenya plays a great role for democracy, in particular during election times. It has the assignment to inform the Kenyan people accurately to make informed decisions. It has the role to verify information, fact-checking, wherever it comes from. The report further categorized social media as the main source of fake news, followed by radio then television at 36, 28 and 20% respectively. Majority of Kenyans, they spend less than four hours on radio per day. 16% of Kenyans don't listen to radio at all. Radio, according to the report, was the main source of news to the majority of Kenyans, followed by television. And for those who watch TV, majority of them at 52% are attracted by news compared to other programs. The status of Media in Kenya report release coincides with the World Press Freedom Day, celebrated every 3rd of May. Kenya is seen as an epitome of journalism excellence and freedom in the region. But to the woeful rankings in the global rankings of journalism freedom in the country goes to show just how restricted journalism still is in this nation. Alan Aoko reporting for Channel 1 News in Nairobi.